Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. Nothing like a beautiful vase of flowers to decorate your home. So let's paint one and make our home beautiful with our painting. I have my materials here. I have my primary colors, yellow, red and blue, and black and white, paper, paper towel in a cup, and my brushes. I have two brushes, a, big, uh, a flat brush and a round brush, and a pencil. Now, I'm also am going to use a bowl, a kid's bowl, something a bit smaller. Let's get started with our drawing. Grab your bowl and put it a little bit above the, my, my paper is vertical, so don't put it all the way in the bottom, put a little bit above, okay, about two inches from the, the bottom of the paper. And let's outline it. Let's trace it around. Okay, now I'm going to make my table. My table is going to be right here and right here. So make a line. Ooh, try to make it straight. <laughs> okay, this is our bowl. Not a bowl, our, our vase. And what I'm going to do is, you know, how to make a rectangle, let's add a little rectangle, a small rectangle on top of that circle. Just about like this. Okay, we're just gonna add a little shape to our vase. Now, we can erase this part, and what's gonna happen is our vase, and we can curve and connect here, now our vase, it's a little, it's got a little more shape to it, just instead of just being circular. All right, now let's paint, um, paint draw our flowers. Our flowers are gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna make them fun and easy. Just give me a circle, doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, I prefer it not to be perfect. Let's put some circles around, little wiggly circles. And make about, I'll make another one here, a small one. They don't have to be all the same size, okay? So, and then inside that circle, make another one. Kind of almost, almost looks like an egg. <laughs> all right, all right, we have four flowers here. We're gonna add other ones too, but they're gonna be a little different. Very good. Let's get started with painting. We're going to paint the background. Now my background, I'm thinking, let's pick a color. You guys can pick any color you like. I'm going to make it a, hmm, how about I make it a very light green? I like it to be a very light green. So I'm gonna make yellow and blue. I'm gonna mix yellow and blue together, more yellow than blue and then I'll get some white. And that's gonna give me a light green color. And I'm just gonna go and paint around it. Just have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way of going around, just um, go with your strokes any way you like. I'm just going, I'm making some crisscross strokes because I don't care if it goes one way or another. So I have to make more of that light green. So blue, lots of yellow and white. Mix it together. And then, ooh, I need to see. Sometimes that happens when you don't make enough. You won't get the very same color again. That's okay. I'm just making a funky background. So just to balance it out, the same color on both sides, I did it a little bit over there. It's okay if the, the colors are not super mixed, the yellow and the blue. What's gonna happen, you're gonna see bits of yellow and bits of blue here and there. And I think actually that gives it some character and it makes it fun to look instead of being a flat color. One same color.
see a little bit of blue and yellow showing through. Actually, it looks really cool. I didn't over mix them together. Let's see. Okay, it almost looks blue, but I like it. I like the color. It's whatever works, whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint in between the flowers too, even though I'm gonna add other things in here, but it's just to be safe and then I can, I know that everything is covered. Now, let's think about my, let me think about my, um, my table. I think I'm going to make my table, I'll make it brown. So I'm gonna get all the primary colors, blue, a little bit of red, and yellow, mix it, mix together, mix brown. Yeah, I'll make it brown. Now go side to side as you paint your table. Try to outline the bowl so you don't go over it. Outline the bowl, okay? And then the rest, just make it, make horizontal strokes, side to side. Side to side, side to side. Keep going side to side. Okay, cool. So this is my table. This is my background. I'm gonna clean my brush. And now I will paint my vase. And my vase will be, I think I'm going to make it purple. So I'm gonna mix red and a little blue. And I got purple. Yep, let me make more. Okay, I'm gonna make my vase purple. You can make your vase any color you like. Remember that, it's your painting. Now, a good way to color it in is outline the edges. Make a nice clean line. First, outline it. And then now you're safe because you're not gonna be tempted to go outside and then you color it in. Make sure your strokes are not too wide, too large because otherwise you're not gonna be able to control yourself. So small little strokes, coloring it in. Gotta make more, wow. Okay. And then remember, we had that rectangle on top, so it gives it a little extra space for the vase to go up. Okay. Me gusta. Now I'm gonna add a little highlight to the bowl. To, not to the bowl, to the vase. 
and I'm gonna get a little white and mix it into that purple that I already had there. And then right over here on my right side, make like curved lines. Oops, that was so much. Make a curved line and highlight your bowl. I actually added too much here. I'm trying not to add too much, it's just a highlight. Oh my goodness. So let me get that purple back here. All right. Okay, so I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm staying more mostly in the middle. And then here, when you paint the, when you paint that rectangle part that you drew, go side to side. And then I'm gonna add just plain white, and I'll do a little bit of a highlight, just a touch, not much, for my bowl. And then I'll do a touch here as well. See, it just gives, makes it look like the light is hitting from the right side. Okay, that's my bowl. Clean your brush because now we're going to paint the flowers. Now you have the option to either use this big brush or you can use the smaller brush. You'll be able to determine to see if you're being able to control the space or not. If you feel like it's going, it's the big brush is too hard to handle, change your brush. Now my flower is gonna be red. My first flower is gonna be red. So I'm gonna paint this whole flower here red. Just make, just color into the circle. Remember, you wanna outline it first and then you color it in. And, and the edges, they don't have to be perfect circles. They can be a little wiggly. And I'll have another red flower. And the other red flower will be, I guess I'll do it on the opposite side. Why not? And actually, you see, I added a little curve on this flower. Okay, cool. Now just get a little white and just go inside a little bit and add a little highlight. Just pretend you're coloring it in, but don't over don't over color it. Just touch it like this. Don't over blend it. And whatever happens, happens. It's just white because the paint is still wet. The red is still wet. It's gonna blend in and it's gonna turn into a pink. So you don't want to blend it too much. I like the strokes, the loose strokes that were created. Now my other flowers are going to be, I'm going to make them yellow. Um, let me see. Should I make them yellow? Um, sure. Yellow or orange. I mean between yellow or orange. What do you think? Which one should I pick? Okay, okay. I'm gonna do orange. <laughs> I changed my mind. It's okay. This is all a part of the process. We have to make choices. We have to be happy. I'm gonna make it orange. It's a pretty warm bouquet of flowers. So I have this smaller one here. So I mix red and yellow to make orange. And I'm coloring this one, and then I'll do the other one up top. It's gonna be yellow and red mix orange. They make orange. Thanks for painting with me. It's really fun doing this together with you. 
here are my two orange flowers. I'm gonna get a little white, just like I did the, the red, and I'm gonna just kinda do a little touch of white. And don't over blend it. Let's do a stroke. Whatever happens, you leave it. Cause that's the that's the cool part about it. Whatever happens, boom. If you start blending it too much, what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn all into one color, and I don't want that. I want to have two colors. So I have my red flowers and my orange flowers. I think I still want to do a yellow flower. So I'm going to use my fingers, and that's what I'm gonna do. So with my fingers, I'm gonna grab some yellow and I'll go, I'm gonna put one here up top because I have room. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. This one was thick. Okay, five. Five little dots and I'll do another one. Um, no, this is gonna be something else. I'll probably do another one here in the bottom one two three and it's okay if you overlap because flowers when they're in the vase they're one in front of the other they're like here see me i'm here i'm here and this is overlapping that one a little bit mm -hmm. should i make any more of that i'm thinking i am thinking <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that for now. If I want it later, I'll add it. And now I'm gonna add white in the middle. White right in the middle. For the center of the flower. Cool. Feel like it needs some leaves. So let's get some, use your other brush, the smaller brush. Make sure you clean your finger and blue and yellow mix together make green and for the leaves all i'm gonna do i want to have a few leaves not too much but all i'm gonna do is i want you to think remember whenever we, you're drawing something you need to simplify your shapes so we for this bowl it was a circle with a triangle the flowers were triangle not triangle, sorry, circle with a rectangle. The flowers wore <laughs> circles, I'm sorry. And the leaves are gonna be triangle. That's what I had in mind. Leaves are gonna be triangle. But you don't want the triangles to be too stiff. So all I'm gonna do, you can make a triangle, but curve it. Curve the triangle and then color it, color it in. Add a few kind of behind the, the flowers. You see, kind of hide them a little behind it. See, another triangle. This one is an upside down triangle. I'll probably add, need to add some more. I'll add another one here. This is a triangle kind of on the side. You gotta look at your space, the space that you have, and it's probably gonna be a little different than mine. So think about where a leaf would go, would fit nicely. And you, need, you wanna balance it out too. If you do it on the right side, do it somewhere on the left as well. So I need to find a, a left, I'm gonna do it right here. Maybe not so big, because I don't want this to be unbalanced. Right here. Yeah, let me see, I think I need more. Probably have one here, another leaf, another triangle. it's coming together and I'll probably add one more here because I have some space even though you can't really tell and then 
what I will do is highlight those leaves by making mixing white into that green and some yellow as well. So it's going to be a pretty light yellow uh, green, and then just make some lines. Just make some lines inside those leaves. It's coming together. It's coming together. Now remember that we had a little circle inside our flowers, the big circle? Well, let's add a little something in there. And then maybe that could be yellow as well. We're gonna go yellow with a little white, just a little white, not much. Oh, this turned into green. No. So just yellow and then you go inside those flowers. That's for my the red one. The red one is going to have yellow. And then the orange one, I will probably I'll probably make it like blue, like a light blue. How cool is that? Or maybe just a no, a normal blue, a dark blue never seen that before but you can find that in my vase okay cool now let's add some stamps because these flowers they need to be only on something so what I'll do is I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna create some stamps here and there not all of them I'm gonna add a stamp here I'll add a stamp on this one this one just kind of you know playing around and then with the black I'll also um, add a little line some lines for my leaves see how I made one line in the middle and then I did two on the side two on the other side one line in the middle two on the side on the other side it's kind of playing with it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a line going out here like a stem or something and then I'll make another one kind of coming out here and I'll tell you what that is going to be and I'll probably make another one coming out here just make like a, a line going out Coming out like that, and then no, not here. So like three of them, and also what I'm gonna do with that black while you still have that black, make little dots on the yellow that you may put inside the the red. Make little black dots. So I'll do that on the red one, and then maybe on the blue one I'll just do one in the middle, just to make it different. Cool, it's coming together really nicely. And then remember these little lines that I added? I'm going to clean your brush and then add some white and then just kind of dab. Dab, 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 like this. And make a point. So dab, 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 and then go all the way to a point. see and remember you guys can pick any color you like these are just the colors that I picked cool do you like it so far I know it seems like a lot of work doesn't it it really does but the more you paint the more the, the better you get and the more fun you will have because your work is going to start coming to life really nicely. I think I'm happy with my flowers. I don't want to add any more to it. All I'm going to do is add a little shadow underneath my vase. So what I'll do is get a little black, put a lot of water, get some water, put it in your palette. So what's going to happen is that your black is going to be a little liquidy. It's 
gonna be just kind of like black water. You don't want it to be just of the paint. And then you're gonna go right underneath the bowl. What you can do is you can outline it, just the bottom. Don't outline the whole thing, just the bottom. And then just pull it to the side like this, horizontally. You can even use your fingers if you wanna spread it and make it belong to the table more. Because you want to give, make the, the vase grounded. You don't want it to be floating in the air. So go side to side like that. This creates a little shadow. Got it? Cool! I like it! I like my vase. Did you have fun painting this? I hope you do. Hey, have fun, get creative, add more flowers if you like. It's your vase, it's your painting. Thanks for painting with me. Bye bye. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you do. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dottie Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.